reporter wants actor Brian Cranston to bash Trump, isn't prepared for actor's blunt reply. Actor Brian Cranston, perhaps best known for his portrayal of Walter White on the television series Breaking Bad, was not a fan of Donald Trump during the presidential campaign of 2016. In fact, he even pledged to campaign for Trump's rival Hillary Clinton, saying, I will do everything in my power to make sure that he's not the president. However, when a reporter tried to get Cranston to bash Trump in a recent interview, he wasn't at all prepared for the actor's blunt reply. Although things didn't end up the way Cranston wanted, he isn't among the Hollywood elite who hope to see Trump fail and are actively working against him. According to Cranston, a win for Trump is a win for all Americans, and he's right. He was not my candidate, but he is going to be my president, and I truly hope he does an exceptionally good job, Cranston said a month after the election. I really do, because if that is true, he has done well for the country, and that's much more important than who I personally wanted to be president. Cranston echoed the same sentiment in a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, saying, it's just astonishing to me. President Trump is not the person who I wanted to be in that office, and I've been very open about that. That being said, he is the president. If he fails, the country is in jeopardy. It would be egotistical for anyone to say, I hope he fails. To that person, I would say, FCKU. Why would you want that? So you can be right? He asked rhetorically. I don't want him to fail. I want him to succeed. I do. I honestly do, Cranston continued, according to Breit Bart. And if you've got a good idea that helps the country, oh man, I'm gonna support you. I don't care if you're a Republican and I'm a Democrat or whatever, I don't care. A good idea is a good idea. Let's do that. We've got to get away from this idea that our country is political football, and someone with a different opinion is the enemy. Assume they love this country as much as you do, and there's always room for improvement. How can we make it better? Indeed, the idea that Donald Trump loves his country, just as much as Cranston and others, is more than a mere assumption. The president gave up a billionaire's lifestyle in order to serve his country for free, all the while being relentlessly attacked by the left. Donald Trump could have retired in peace, surrounded by his children and grandchildren, without the constant onslaught of attacks from the media and the left, but instead, he chose to give back to the country which has given him so much, and which so desperately needed him at this point in time. The most un-American thing you could possibly do is root for him to fail. A failure for Trump is a failure for America. It's a damn shame more of Brian Cranston's colleagues don't understand as much, as much, 